Hello again, everybody. This is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in part eight of our eight part series, basic training for Adobe Premiere Elements. We've finished our movie. We've finished our little masterpiece. And now we want to share that masterpiece with the world. It's time to output and share our movie. To share your movie, you simply go to the upper right hand corner of the program and click on export and share. And that opens our export and share option screen. On the front page of that screen is the option to output a quick export. Nothing derogatory about that, but a quick export, if you just want to create a nice general purpose MP4, will do just fine. You notice mine is going to output a 1920 by 1080 video. That's because my project settings are 1920 by 1080. If you've created a video project that's something other than 16 by 9, say it's upright or square, you're going to have a different option here for your quick export. In most cases, rather than using a quick export, I feel better going to devices, which is a second tab here on this screen. And on devices, I can output a 4K video. I can output an HD video. If I go to the little carrot here to the right, I also have options for creating an upright video or a square video in addition to a medium resolution video. Now, just one warning, my project is set up as 16 by nine. It's a 1920 by 1080 video. If I were to select the upright option for outputting my video, take a look at my preview window. You notice that it doesn't fill the video frame. It's going to be letterboxing above and below. Same with if I were to choose a square option, my video is not quite going to fill the screen. So even though these options are available, you probably want to select the option that most matches your project settings. Now, if you were to set up your project as something other than 1920 by 1080, if you were to create a project that was square or create a project that was upright, taller than wide, then your list of options here would be different, but it's always to your advantage to select an option that matches your project settings. In my case, that would be 1920 by 1080. Now, along the left hand side, you can see that I can output video for a computer, for a TV, for a mobile device, or I can create a custom preset. So a lot of good options here available on this screen alone. In addition, a nice tool built into this program is a tool for uploading directly to social media. If I select that tab, you notice that I can upload directly to YouTube, to Vimeo, to Facebook, to Instagram, to Pinterest, to LinkedIn. And once again, those aspect ratios are shaped for that particular social media site. So you want to make sure your project settings match what your output settings will be to get the best quality and to get the best looking video. Now these tools will connect directly to these websites. The very first time you use any of these tools, you'll need to give the program permission to link to those sites. But once you do that, you'll be forever more linked and it'll be simply one or two clicks to upload directly to Vimeo to YouTube, to Facebook, to Instagram, and new to version 2024, Pinterest and LinkedIn. But that's really all there is to it. You make your movie masterpiece, you load it up and share it with the world. I hope you've enjoyed getting to know this powerful little program. And I hope you've seen that it's actually a lot of fun. Video making is a lot of fun. Premiere Elements is a lot of fun. If you want to know more about this program, I hope you'll drop by moviepix.com, M-U-V-I-P-I-X.com. That's my website. If you have any questions for me or for anybody at MoviePix, just drop by our free community forum and we'll get you an answer usually in very short order. Or just come by and say hello. We'd love to get to know you and have you become a part of our community. If you want to know everything about the program, then you'll want to check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. I'm the guy who wrote the book. My name's Steve, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.